Andrew McCart, IFL TV in association with MTK Global. I'm here at Billy Nelson's gym in Green Gears, I think it is. Yep. With me, I've got his little star what Craig Morgan. Craig, done a, about 500 setups there, I believe. Uh, how's things going with you? Ah, it's not too bad. That's us back into training now, getting ready for the next fights and that. Um, everything's been going well so far, aye. So just taking it day by day and hopefully get a fight date soon and then... Well, that's what I was going to ask. you got a fight date, anything lined up? Because you've had four fights so far. You've just fought, I think it was last month out in Glasgow. Aye. Great performance again. So Cheers. when are you hoping to be out next then? I'm hoping to be at the next MTK show. Uh, still waiting to see everything okay with Danny and all that, but... We'll see how it goes, but I think that'll be the twenty second. Is that Ju June? Twenty second of June, yeah. yeah. So that'll be that'll be really good if I get on that. But it's going to be a long camp for you then, because that's good Aye, for you, isn't it? So <laughs> I know, I know, but I've got something to look forward after. I've got a holiday on the twenty second of July, so a month after going? it, I'm away to the Hard Rock Hotel in Tenerife. Oh. So. Aye, a good nine days away with my girlfriend, so that'll be good just he, to enjoy. Has Billy gave you any uh, instructions not to get too drunk, not to do anything? Oh, <laughs> I'll, 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 <laughs> see, I, could, I could pan around and show you what Billy's doing here, but I, I, I won't. I won't. Yeah. Uh, so, you've got a holiday planned, you're looking to go 5 and 0 before yep. you go away. Uh, looking on Box Rec, you mentioned it off camera there that you're sitting 15th already and you're only four fights in. Uh, what do you think of that? <laughs> oh, that's, that's every young person's dream. I, to be honest, I was always going to be thinking to myself, if I'm 5, 6, 7 and 0 and I'm under 20 in, in the rankings, I'll be happy. Because it's not really about <coughs> rankings now for me and Billy. It's about just getting the experience so I can focus on bigger fights. By the time I'm 21, 22, I'm no, I'm no really worried about rankings, but it's good to look at. It's good to see that, oh, I'm ranked above him. <laughs> you I'm, I'm good, eh? <laughs> you, you're ranked in a division that's got, like we, we spoke about again off camera, <coughs> uh, Kid Galahad, Warrington, Frampton, blah, de, blah, de, blah, blah, <coughs> Jazz and Dickens. So if you're hanging about further with this, like, you're only four nostrils, we're probably jumping the gun yeah. a wee bit, but you're in a very, very stacked division domestically. Yep. So what's your thoughts on that? And I know you and Billy are planning that you're only 19 years old. Let's not uh, hide the fact you're still very young, you're still learning baby. your trade. But when you look at these guys, is that what you want to be at in, when you're 21, like you mentioned? I want to be that level, and if I can, I, I want to be better than them. That's what you aim to. You always want to take that number one position. Whoever, if it be Carol Frampton, if it be Josh Warrington, you always want to be higher than them. You want to, you want to make your goal to be a world champion, unify, and you want to be the best. Mm -hmm. eh? So, I, it's always to think about. I'm only 19, as 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 everybody knows. I'm still a baby, and it's just a learning game for me. Getting, it's like an apprenticeship mm -hmm. in your work. Eh? So I'm just grafting on every day, learning the trade and just hopefully I'll be as big and if I put everything that I'm putting into it then now, I will be as big as the names one day. Well people watching this, this interview will probably be thinking, that's a funny Scottish accent that kid's got. <laughs> but you're, you're from a small town <coughs> by, in Kilkelty, but last time uh, what a following that you had. Aye. I think the whole the whole village of Kelty was empty. I think uh, there was nobody left in their house because you took them all through to Glasgow for your fight. Just Aye, talk to you about that, that, that fan base you've got over in your village. There was a good good amount of them. Like, Well, to be honest, Kelty is probably a, a wee village with about five to 7,000 people, roughly. And just to go through to Glasgow, the Emirates, I'm, I was not far off, about 160, 150 people. Maybe a bit less, maybe a bit mm -hmm. more, just on the rough estimates. But that was people from all over Fife just coming through. Even just from my house, there was five coaches left and one from Kelty left. So there was actually six 18-seater buses you're actually <laughs> left you're for actually, <coughs> You keep doing what you're doing, keep clocking up the wind. Do you think you're gradually going to get more and more fans, more and more buses? Maybe Billy can get you a headline on a show in, I don't know, Dunfermline. I don't know if they've got an arena or anything <laughs> like that there you can, you can headline in. We've got a big Kelty Hearts pitch and that would be a good venue. How much like. does that hold? It, that would hold actually quite a lot. Probably around about the same as the Emirates. It's like an open football oh, so park. Fifteen hundred or something. Ah, it'll yeah. probably be something like that. It's quite a quite a big. Well, big let's not jump the gun. Let's just wait and see. <laughs> Billy's rolling his eyes. <laughs> uh, I so your, your fan base is absolutely tremendous and stuff like that. But I can't let you go without talking about the division you're sitting in. We've talked about you ranked fifteen. Yeah. I mean. There's some great fights happening in that division. One of them being domestically is Kid Galahad, well, Warrington versus Kid Galahad for that IBF title. Just tell, me, let me know your thoughts on that fight and give me a wee prediction if you can. I think Warrington is just going to walk through him, personally. <coughs> That's what I think. I think it's got to be a good fight, good fight to watch. It's I just stop. Billy's shaking his head. Why are you shaking your head, Billy? That's not going to happen. Kid, uh, Kid Galahad is a 
a, an extremely talented young man, very very difficult to tag, extremely good skill set. I think it's going to be an exceptionally close fight, exceptionally close mm-hmm. fight. The thing that might win it for Warrington is his work rate, mm-hmm. and he'll look you know he'll look busy, but honestly, it's a, 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 see the, the the odds that the bookies have got, it's way way too wide. So you said you still after hearing what Billy his expertise has said there, do you still believe that Longton's going? <laughs> I, no, I do. I have seen him. I watched him against Frampton, eh, and as from watching Frampton, I thought he was exceptional. And mm. then watching Warrington beat up Frampton, I just think that he's a different level. Eh? But everybody's got different opinions. People will think Galahad will win. It's just just what I think. Eh? Well, there you go. Everyone's got their own opinion, right? The last one, Expe- expectations for yourself going into the end of this year, 2019, what are you hoping to be like? What rank? What, what ranking? Because you're top 15, well, how many fights would you like to have and so on and so on? I want to be, <laughs> I want to try and keep my ranking. I like my ranking where it is, but I'd like to be maybe 9, 10 and all by the end of the year. Good stuff. Maybe I'm with Billy Nelson, like that. That, I'm sure that can happen. You agree? Uh, well, cheers <laughs> <all>, man. <laughs> See how many fights you can get. I'm sure Billy will work wonders for you. Well, Craig, again. Looking forward to it. I'll be at your fight in June. Uh, just keep clocking up the wins and you'll see my face more often. Perfect. Good stuff. Well, thanks, Craig. See you, Chirel.